Hi, it's Karen. And it's Tim. From Stamping on the Back Porch. And welcome to another Thursday Live. We hope you've got your paper ready so you can create along with us. You're going to need some pattern paper that is four and a quarter inch square and then one inch by four inch pieces. And then some full sheets of cardstock cut in half so they're four and a quarter by 11. Oh, good. Oh. So we have two people that heard that announcement. So we'll probably have to read yeah. it. <laughs> no, it's all good. So, and um, hopefully all good. tech is working today after our miserable week. So just a couple of quick announcements. One being Vacation. we are leaving for Hawaii with Stampin' Up! in oh, early, early Saturday morning. So we just have today and tomorrow to try to get things finished. So um uh, reach me by email, Facebook, you know, I'll, I'll still be on that kind of stuff. So let me know if you need anything. But we decided to wait. And next Thursday, I'll have a video that goes live at this hour, but it won't be live. Because um, we really are going on vacation. But when we get back, we get back like a day before my birthday. So we actually decided I've gotten a lot of birthday cards. And I just want to say thanks, you guys. And I thought yes, yes. a good reentry would be to spend two weeks from today when we've just gotten back going through all my birthday cards. So we're going to do that instead of actually stamping. So just letting you know right now in two weeks. So, and that will just, you know, make coming back home a lot sweeter, you know, so <laughs> that's all good. And then the other comment is you've probably seen that I have all these mystery boxes. This is what I'm doing. I am using up all kinds of stuff that I have. So any orders of $50 or more this month are getting a mystery box or bag or something for me. If you place your order by tonight, this is the cutoff. They will go out in the mail tomorrow. If you place it afterwards, that's fine. But they're not going to go out till we get till the end of the month when we get home from Hawaii. So just wanted you to know that ahead of time. So that is wonderful. Thanks, you guys. Everyone wishing us well. Okay, Corey's ready. She's got her paper. And she's ready to create with us. Oh, I'm thrilled. And I'll just say that I think I've been at the post office right eight out of nine <laughs> days in a row. And you don't want to know what the bills have been. I said it's costing so much to mail out mystery boxes. <laughs> but I <they're> think <laughs> this is a one-time thing. <laughs> but anyway, but it's been really fun to do. Mm-hmm. And a fun way to celebrate both my birthday month and the fact that we're going on vacation. So just sharing some fun things with you. This is the host code ZXXQCK2T. And our code, our sentence from Barbara Wasco. Zillions of kisses, two, two anyway, quickies. Connect Karen to Tim. <laughs> so Tim is especially proud of that. He won't let me forget that. And we are going to get started. Today we are doing book binding folds. I love days when, like this when we just take one type of card, whether it's a layout or a fun fold, and we just all create together. And I'm using all kinds of new papers, of course. You get to use whatever you have at home. And then, of course, we want to see your work over in the back porch stampers. This will be the weekly challenge to put up something using this fold. Uh, and you can use whatever you have. Doesn't need to be stamping up, doesn't, you know, because we all love seeing what everybody does. So I'm going to be making this several times while we chat. This is just such a great fold. And it opens, and you have this. This is kind of like a little book thing here. And I'll just tell you a little trips when we're around. Oh, you guys that have shared, that's. Thank you. Well, Jane, it seems like we were just talking. I just got off the phone with Jane. So I said, I see you're here. It's wonderful. So I will make this one first. I'm going to make, not necessarily make, but I have nine cards and we'll make however many and I'll just show whatever. Now, if we get bored or it gets too slow, you know, we don't want to, we don't want to bore you or anything. (laughs) So here is the cardstock and it is a full sheet cut in half the long way. So it's four and a quarter by 11. So you're gonna get two out of a sheet of cardstock. And really you might as well make make two while you're at it. But this is where you're going to score. You're going to score at four and a quarter and five and a half. Now I'm gonna tell you an easy way to remember this. You're gonna score at five and a half because that's what you would do anyway to put in half. That would be your regular card. And then you know this, you want to be a square. So I love remembering things like this. So this is four and a quarter. So this is gonna be four and a quarter. So you can always do that and then come back and do that, if that makes sense. And there we have our basic fold. Now on the insides of all of these, and I'm not gonna put the insides right now, then they're all just four by four, uh, white or vanilla, whatever you're gonna write in that goes, goes with your card. 
So then we're going to build our card. Oh, and by the way, this one, I did just want to point out in case I'll show each of these stamp sets. This is the hand penned, hand penned petals. And it is such a cool stamp set. And do you see how you can kind of build to kind of go like this? Here's one of the things I love about this. Do you see how they're not all filled in? And some of the black isn't even stamped. Some of it is off. So it's a very uh, artistic kind of stamp set. So you painted those by hand or, or were they... How did, how did those get They would have painted them like this and then oh, take a so photo. The I think that's that the paper comes this way. Okay. Isn't that a great look? Yeah. And do you see, even here, it doesn't even matter. These The stamps don't all line up. They don't need to when it's part of this. Oh, and the backgrounds on these are just beautiful. The flip sides look good with every single paper. So if you're doing any so cards like that. If you have a perfectionistic uh, tendency, don't worry. About then you have to learn to be a little more artistic and yes. free flowing. This, yes. this is meant to help you. So I just wanted to point that out because then you're just using all the colors. I'll let you take that aside. And um, yeah, so, and this doesn't fit on exactly. Look at it, it's very artistic and it's wonderful. This is just stunning, stunning paper. Hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna put this together. So we have our four and a quarter that's gonna go right here. And then any coordinating one, I could use any of these. I'm just using a bunch of my different scraps. from. I've been making a lot out of these kinds of cards. So there is the card front. And that, oh, oh, and it's so fun when we get people from around the world here. So welcome to our thing. Uh, and then this part we're going to attach so it stays closed. And so this is where it's kind of like, I don't know, it's called like a, a book binding or I don't know how it even got the name. And here's the seam. I'm going to use tear and tape. You can use anything that's going to be a strong adhesive. Glue would work. You just want something that's going to hold. And I like to reinforce it by putting ribbon or something on it because I just, you know, you can just, people will try to open it further just because they think it should. Because, <laughs> you know, if, if you're not into what fun folds are, you just don't know, right? <laughs> I'm throwing all my extra stuff over to Tim, who can just yes. take care of it. And I'm going to close. Whoops. I love the tear and tape because I can just fold over anything that gets extra. Now, how cool is that? If you put a ribbon in, do you do it before you close it up? I don't because I want the ribbon. Let's see. Let's see how I want to go there. I want the ribbon to help keep this closed, All together, yeah. but I don't want it to slide off either. So what I like to do, my little thing for that, is I just cut a divot. A little, yeah, I just kind of make my own right there. Uh, and you'd have to look closely at the card, I think, to see it, but it keeps the ribbon from going off, and then it keeps this closed. Okay, I'm trying to read comments too. Jane says she uses regular adhesive on the one side and then tear and tape on this. Oh, that would be a way too, especially if you want to be a little more economical. So you can do, and I think, I think um, the the multi-purpose glue is really a good. I think it is nice and strong too. So see now, these are going to go right inside there. That's going to keep it from sliding off. And then this is our basic knot tying technique. So I'm going to fold it over, do half a knot, and then I'm going to do the next one. And this is the trick. Wait for it. Watch this. I'm only pulling it with my left. Do you see how still my right hand is being? Because now look, when I close it up, I get a nice, I get a nice knot. So pretty good for a right hand. That is card number one. Okay. LaVar says she loves all the tips. Thanks. That's wonderful. Yeah. Kathy said she didn't use tear and tape the first one and didn't hold as well that she'd hope. So you learn. You know what? Isn't that true though? When you do it something and then you figure out how you need to make it a little better the next time or stronger, that is how we learn. Okay. This next set, this is actually the stamp set. This is artistically inked, and I can't wait to play with this, but, you know, it, it's going to wait. So, But we're using the paper, and we're using, this is really interesting. This comes with it. 
or it doesn't come with it. I mean, it's part of what you can get meant to go with it. So you get all these different pieces. Look at these. They punch out and do all kinds of cool things. And there's all of this. So this is the card I make. So I was going to be very, very simple here. Bringing glitz to a whole new level. Yeah. And I think that's just really cool. So there's my two papers. And on this one, instead of a ribbon, just to show that you could do a different idea. Um, I think for this one, I'm going to do the ribbon on the next one. And then, then we can see which one we like better. But to see how this is just... Uh, um, Okay, you guys, names. What, what do you call Brad's? Because <laughs> that will hold it really tight too. But I thought, isn't that really a fun look? So I already did a second one. Uh, okay, Kathy said she used it Brad's this way too. And she uh, she, used, she has some old eyelets she's going to use too. Yes, anything like that would be a fun thing to do. Okay, so now I'm going to... I'll do one more from scratch, and then I'm going to show you how I batch things more because I think that's probably helpful. So let's do it again. Let's say I've forgotten the measurement, so I'm going to do my my card second half. I'm going to measure. Oh yeah, it's four and a quarter. So then, so is this. This one's four and a quarter. So there is. I'd like to know how many of you, if you are making this along with me, let me know. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this one up first because this can be done. In any order. I figure I don't have to do this too many times, but it's just kind of fun to hang out and create together. And I love that each card kind of ends up looking unique, you know. So now I'm going to put these on. So here is my four inch square part. I pre-decorated all of mine, so it would just go faster. And then from the same paper pack, this is my edging. And this time I'll do the ribbon again, and then we'll we'll see. We can vote on what people like better. And pre-decorated is not a common term. <laughs> we kind of make up words as we go along. And our vocabulary changes. Oh, for cute. Never in my life had I said that before. And I still can't believe I say that. So I think that's just pretty <laughs> hilarious. Tim just cracked up when the first time I said that about something. <laughs> it's not. Okay, so this time we're going to do the ribbon. So I'm get my ribbon around. And if you remember, we're going to do half a knot. Oh, Glenn says she loves the ideas and tips and getting to see all this new designer series paper and stamp sets while we're working. It is just so fun, isn't it? I just, and you know, within each of these papers, like this paper, we could use every paper in there, do the same card and they would all look different so and beautiful. You're using your ring finger to hold it down. Uh, they're both, well, yeah. I don't know. I'm just plain holding it steady. This is your ring finger. It's got your diamond ring on it. Yeah. I, oh, okay. I'm trying to figure out what he's interpreting. But do you see how this is, this one, the main thing is I hold my right one steady. Yeah. Okay. So then I'm pulling with this one. Okay. Well, I Tim, was, I don't know. Maybe Tim and I are having trouble communicating. I don't know. That was a good observation. <laughs> okay. okay. So here they are side by side. I just think that the white gets a little lost on this particular card. Maybe if it were a gold trim. So that's why I thought, well, I'll do it again and do it in pink. But what do you guys think? Pink. Oh, yes, pink. a hole punch off the edge. Gail says, yeah, you know what? That's, I'm sure, a better idea than what I'm doing. I'm doing the handmade divots. She just uses a hole punch and just does a little little part off the edge. Hers are probably more regular than mine, okay? So I'm just kind of pointing that out because <laughs> I thought that's great. That is wonderful. Now I just thought I will do... I'm going to just do two bases because I want to talk about people always say, people always say, I, you know, I get asked, how do you do, do you do one card from beginning to end or do you do a whole bunch of cards in a know. row? What do you, what do you think, Tim? <laughs> <laughs> he sees all my stacks. I have my yeah. stacks of each of the things. I never do one card at no. a time unless I'm experimenting. Okay. So I'm just going to. If I were going to make a dozen of these, I would be doing all 12 of these. I'm going to do three just because we're going to talk about that. And I know they're going to be scored at four and a quarter and five and a half. But I do that with, do your, this. with your mailing too. I, four and a quarter. Yeah. I put all the return address labels on first and I put all the stamps on and or whatever. 
you know, I do them. In, yes. I do them, yeah. Yeah, because it's just easier yeah. than, um, yeah, I, I think that's true. And I always get asked about my marks here. This is four and a quarter, which is the halfway point um, in a regular, you know, the two ways you fold a card stack. And then this is five and a half. This is how this would be in half. This one over here is if I'm doing a diagonal, let's say I want to do a diagonal from there to there because I'm doing one of those folds. I can just put it in there, put it in there, and then I will score that way. So that's what my marks are for. Okay, then I will move that. And then I'm going to take them all and fold them. Everyone likes the pink, the ribbon. I think that it just adds a little more. I think it just needed a little more color there. So I think we all agree, but you know, hey, but None of you will complain if I send you the other one, right? <laughs> These cards all go out to people. I send a card. I send an extra card with a finished card, either with card kits or even now with a mystery box. There's always a card in there. So um, I send out lots of cards. See, then I'm going to go through. I'm going to do all of this. And I am putting two layers on. I probably could get by with just one layer. But, you know, I... I have lots of tear and tape, so why not? <laughs> you can experiment with <laughs> using lasses. I have no idea. <laughs> Efficiency has not been on my mind lately. Um, my model lately has been just get her done. It's just the list has been too long. <laughs> I'll fold this up. Now I'm going to close these all. And then... So I often, if I'm going to do, you'll see from other videos, if I'm going to use one set of designer series paper, I often like to make like six different styles. So I'll make a dozen cards out of that designer series paper, but they're different papers on each, so they still look different. So I just love the variety we get with using all these things together, uh, ribbon and pink, one by far. So good thing I decided to add that and, and show the difference because I thought it was pretty fun. Which end of the score tool do I use? I usually use the thicker one, the fatter one, just because it works. I just seem to have it work better. But my biggest tip is if you ever have issues and it kind of goes off, stand up and look down. We end up working too close to ourselves and it's just easy to pull it off, off the thing. So stand up and work down. But I, I gravitate towards the big one myself. And you can always just rub them on wax paper or something. Um, to, or some people even said that they run wax paper over their cardstock, but if you have trouble getting nice scores, you know, sometimes it just needs a little bit of that. So now I have my cards and now I'm going to just put on, first I'm going to just pick my colors. So you're going to watch me build these because I'm not going to show these finished until we have these done. It's not, I'm just going to show how I would go through and do. So here we have them. Pansy, is it Pansy Patch? Pansy, pansy Petals. <laughs> I think Pansy Patch was from a long time ago. Oh, that's not good. You don't want to do that, Karen. This is my grandparents' library table that we work on. So it's always fun. Okay, that's going to be that one. The next one is going to have Sweet Symmetry. Ooh, isn't that fun? So just such fun papers. And we're going to have a variety of cards made in no time. Have you ever and then put, the backs for this. Have you ever put the tape on the wrong side? And oh, yes. And you nice. get a whole different card. Yeah, and yeah. for me, I'm often using a quieter, like a less busy side. To be, I mean, this one's busy. But in, in general, you know, it's just kind of funny because sometimes, yeah, it doesn't turn out the same. But, hey, it's fun. And sometimes it can turn out wonderful. So... Oh, and this is very popular paper too. You're a peach. It's just beautiful, beautiful paper. Put these on. So see how we can all be just doing this together? Okay, is Pansy Patch the whole kit? Um, Pansy Patch? Oh, pa oh, no, no. Pansy Patch, I think, was the name of something years ago. And you know how old names keep coming back? I think we had a stamp set or something based on that. So uh, I don't think it is, but... Hey, don't ask me. I'd have to look it up. So here are my fun base cards, and now we're just going to decorate them. So on um, this one, and in general, I 
I have used today. I'm going to show you the finished one on this because I, I didn't bring that up to finish. Okay, so this is my finished pansy. I, I'm using all the stamps today because usually when I do cards like this, where we're making a whole bunch of them. I'm just using the paper, but I thought today would be fun to actually use the stamp set so we can be showing the actual stamp sets with it. There are pansies like this size in the paper. So you could, this would be a standalone with the paper kind of card, which would be beautiful. And the dies go with that, or they're easy to fussy cut. So that one's pansy patch. Do I just put the finished ones in a pile so I, so I can quickly show them again at the end? The ones that are in the Yeah. Sweet Symmetry actually has its own stamp set. I chose... You know, we talk about you can use, do variety. Um, so I'm going to pretend that I wanted to show you variety by picking a set that wasn't in it. I won't admit to the fact that I just couldn't quite find that one in my rush. <laughs> so I grab something else. <laughs> but I thought that that's okay. I don't because I thought it's really fun to use something else. So this is from Batik Boutique. Now that's a tongue twister. Say that 10 times. And I just love it. I think that's so pretty. And I thought, ooh, this still looks good with this. So see, I did this one. Ooh. And this one is the finished one. Why don't I do one? Um, maybe I'll do one more ribbon with this one. Let's finish this one first, because that one's a little thicker. So in case it's a little different. And then the last one with the peach, again, I'm using the stamp set this time. And it just says friend. And I love, you've got the flowers and the peaches. And I think this is such a fun, you know, I love the flowering trees right now. Oh, I just, there's such a short time of the thing. Iona says she loves the peach design series paper and she has two packs of the fancy petals. <laughs> okay, that is pretty fun. Yes. Um, so this is from here. I just love all these things. So now this is the actual stamp set, as you can see. Coming back to this, this does have a Scandinavian look. Let's see who said that. That's great. Rebecca said that. That's so true. It does. Mm -hmm. I, I just think that that is just really fun. And since this is a little but if I had a whole bunch, I'd actually try Gail's idea. But since, since I don't have one handy, I'm not going to send him to fetch today. So I'll do my little divots. Oh, that one needs to be a little bit more. And we're going to do this one last time before we show the rest of the cards. But you see how quickly you could make a whole bunch of these cards? And it's, it's kind of fun because if you have this planned and then you have all this paper that goes with it, you can make up this whole variety of backgrounds and then just do all the fronts like this. So you could just have a lot of fun. Okay, I'm holding this and I am just pulling with my left hand. And look how nicely that just closes in. You can see that, so that's just a... The other tip is to leave this on the roll because then you don't use so much. But I think that is just beautiful. And then I've added on the others little gems. So this is still the finished one. And then, Tim, it's time for you. All right. I'm going to i think i'll just share the rest ah uh, but they'll be so distracted oh what ribbon me working yeah what ribbon is this one this is the gingham ribbon and it's bumblebee but it just goes so well with that that i just thought it was so fun so this is the designer series paper pack it's called pattern party it is a host choice and you can choose it with um and you pay $18 for it, it's worth like 30. So I just wanted to show you how thick it is. So it is an awesome deal and it's the only way to get it and you get tons. And I picked out, and you, you'll see why, I made the base of card because I wanted to pick this. I thought the hearts in this are just my favorite. I've been, I'm using up all the hearts paper, so it's gonna be. <laughs> but I loved, and with Tim being the cook at our house, I just loved uh, this little, how they went together. So I actually, for the sake of time, did his whole base card today and he can figure out what he wants to do with, I cut three bowls, he can do one, two or three. But I just wanted to look at this a minute. We've got the, our friendship tips the scale. Love that one. You more than measure up. There's the. Oh, that goes on the scale. See, I would have missed that. It's a good thing I didn't pick that one. What does this go with? Oh, I don't know. Oh, there, must go with there. 
What is that? Dec I don't know. See, there's all these things, Tim, that you can play with. I think you're supposed to study these before you get on camera. <laughs> but look at these little cherries and then the little stems that go right over them. Would you say the cherries? Or are you going to tell me they're apples? They're hearts. No, they're hearts. Okay, so it could be anything. They're cookies. <laughs> <laughs> but no. It could be bing, bing cherries. But... Well, that's great. Renee says she made a bunch of these cards because I did this in one of our Double One Sheet Wonders. Uh, if you remember a while ago, this was one of the six styles of cards. So that's, that's really fun. <laughs> okay, that's great. <laughs> okay, am I supposed to get to work now? Yeah, you can do that. And while he's studying what he's going to do with that, I'm just going to show the rest as we can just talk about it. Okay. Well, or do you want complete attention on you? No, no. I, I, I want that. Okay. okay. You're going to put that on first? Okay. No. You, um, you're gonna, you're... I, I will read comments. I know we're so glad to have you here from across the pond. And uh, I believe there's a Chris on too. So that's so fun. Uh, we leave for Hawaii early. Saturday morning, and we just hope our COVID tests get back and all these things that you have to do ahead of time now. Traveling is just not quite as... <laughs> and my mom's place had a positive test with the staff, so they're closed. So we really feel bad that we can't say goodbye to her, but, you know, we'll be gone 10 days. So, but, you know, that, that was just disappointing because we planned to head out there this afternoon. Okay, so while he does that, but you see how these are all the same? Similar but different. Now here's another one. So, oh, with this one, I do something. Oh, Tim, we'll stamp together. Okay. I mean, I'll stamp while you work on that. Okay. This time I'm using twine. And I think, isn't, I just love this. And I wanted to point out here, just in case, if you see the two shades of brown, this is just done. And actually, on this one, I'm going to then I'm going to stamp it, and I'm going to stamp it again. So I stamped it. Oh, that that third one didn't take very well. I'm going to do what I did originally, and I shouldn't have done the third one. I'll tell you why. But it do, but it doesn't really matter, does it? And then for the leaves, I'm taking mossy meadow. I'm putting it on full strength there, and then light strength. And I'll tell you why I shouldn't go from there over to there. Watch when I do that. Do you see how it's darker there? Be oh, these trees is a good thing I did those before. Um, this is sometimes what happens for me if I'm working too close to my paper. I do tend to look over it more. <laughs> but then you just see my hair, but look at that. But does that make sense? So by going over it that way, the ink went there and then it dropped and not as much went on here. So really, I'd want to re-ink it. So for this one, I would stamp it full off. I I'm just playing here with the idea. And then on. So this is how I'm getting the different shades. So I thought I would just quickly show that. How are we doing, Tim? Good. You know how hard it is to, to work without talking? Oh, you can talk. Oh, am, okay. am I being too talkative? Okay. No, it's fine. Y you can talk. Tell me what you're doing. Okay. I'm putting two, two of these. What are they called? I'm just going to say, I think it's easier to work when I'm not talking. But, you know, Tim, he'd like company with what whatever he does. <laughs> oh, right. cherries, Renee says. Okay. That's, <laughs> okay. I don't even remember what I thought they were, what they said. But anyway, the middle of my designer series paper, I did two and three quarters square by three inch squared. But a couple of them are three inch squared and then three and a quarter inch squared. So and it's anything squared. So the smallest one I've used is two and three quarters. But I kind of just picked whatever worked for what I was making. And then the next one I have here is... Oh, so this is the beauty of friendship set. I think, I, well, I love anything with nature, but, and I love some of these words, friendships, re refresh the soul, love that. And you truly inspire me. And there you'll see the thinking of you. And you see the variety, and then the dyes with this are wonderful. Next, great, love you more. That's, I, I, it looks good. It looks some I'm kind of Scandinavian because I wanted I don't know that these bowls look Scandinavian. I'm glad somebody said that because they really look like it, don't they? I, I'm just gonna leave the third one off. You can leave it third, or you know, you you can tuck them under too, you know, like they're oh. they're tipped under, like you know, they're stacked. Yeah. Well. So and I don't know if, if that's appealing, but let me just okay, you mess with it. <laughs> Stay out of my space. 
Okay, we'll put a line down the middle. <laughs> yeah, this is a great guy card with the trees. You're right. Yeah, I think it is a. But see, that's that looks good too. That's like a topsy turvy. Kind of. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But... Now, if they're tucked in, they usually go behind. But you know, whatever you see out. But but it's all but it's all good. Hey, it's all good. So <laughs> it doesn't matter. So here is my. Wild, wild Beast card. Okay. okay. But how fun is this? Thanks. You're the beast. And again, I'm just using twine. And this time I use vanilla. Now I think this, see, these are a little, I guess they're the same size. It's just, I just kind of went with whatever felt like it would work. And yes, the measurements are on the top of the post too. Um, but just know the squares are whatever you want them to be because how you decorate it is really just... You know, so the only measurements you need to know are the four inch square and the one inch by four inch. I mean, that's why this is like, a, you can't go wrong with this. And then the last one. They do not look like the same size, but they, yeah. they are. That's but weird. isn't that fun? Do you have all the rest handy? We should lay them out like that because it's just fun yeah. to see them in groups. And then the last one I had here was elegantly said. And I will just say, I've I struggled more with this set. Do we have a Scandinavian looking one? The words came from here because this... A batik one didn't have words, and I thought this styling of words, I thought, looked really nice with it. I just love the styling here, so wishing you a wonderful birthday. And then I used this paper, and this time it doesn't have a square because I just showed this new punch that goes with this. Now, I will just say I... Uh, I'm not personally sold on the punch yet, but here's the deal. I know I will be once I see a couple cards that just really grab me. It's just a little fancy for my style. I'm much more of a plain style, but I can appreciate anything. And I think I just haven't discovered the right thing yet. So see, I'm open. Uh, I'm open to things, but I do love the stamp set and I love the words and the styling. So what we're going to do is just lay these out, Tim, yeah, and that. just look at this fun variety. You know, the other thing you can always do too is do a bunch of the backs, get your paper done, and then you can sit and do these on a separate time too. So I think these just make really beautiful cards. So we have nine of them. Let's see if we can fit them all on. There's six. We have one more row. So those are nine cards. And now it's your turn to show us what you make over in the back porch stampers because that's just what we Sweet. love to do. Yes. Yeah. Do you have a favorite, Tim? Oh, let's vote on our favorites. Okay. What are people? Okay. Small Altoids. Oh. <laughs> Why not? Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> and his card was small good too. And then when it crushes in the mail, you're going to wonder what kind of confetti Tim used. <laughs> Why does it smell so good? <laughs> so Tim, do you have a favorite? Um, that one. I love that. I love that. Um, that really is fun. And that paper actually looks really good with it. I'm just kind of, um, what is yes. that? so anyways, just. Yes. Yeah, so I anyway, love, I love that. And we can hear the others. So Carol said she makes her cards and stays like this too. So I think that makes sense. Uh, oh, Peach. And the score measurements were four and a quarter by five and a half. And remember the trick to remembering this is you're going to fold this in half. So that's five and a half. Not there now. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's a four and a half by five and a half. And remember, I showed you a trick on how to always remember that. So it's just so easy. And because, uh, I mean, four and a quarter and five and a half, you better listen to me. <laughs> I better listen to me. <laughs> now you better, I better listen to me. So I say the same thing twice. <laughs> because then that gives me, this is a one inch strip. So that's another way to remember. If this is a one inch strip, then this needs to be one and a quarter inch in. So, ooh, pansies and watercolor. Oh, this is fun. I am going to tally the votes and I will tell you what the winner is. So thanks you guys for joining us. So we are off. Um, there will not be a, a, a Monday night, but I'll put a notice up. Um, because I have no idea what we're going to be there doing. There will be then. a Monday night. It just <laughs> we won't be there. And next Thursday, I will put up a video with a project. And then... Uh, and it's a project uh, in honoring all of my tech issues. And then in two weeks from today, I will be celebrating my birthday with you, opening birthday cards. So thanks, guys. Let us know if there's anything you need. Mystery boxes will go out tomorrow. Call me if you have any questions. And thank you for spending this time with us. Goodbye.